Well, we've been impressed with the professionalism of the poll workers and the organization done by the Electoral Commission, as well as the planning by the National Election Security Task Force, which was extraordinary. And everywhere I went, and I flew all all around Ghana, I went to Ho, Takarati, and Wa yesterday, and then came back and went to a coalition center in Accra. Um, I saw that professionalism. And, and, and despite your observation, there's been consent of incidents here and there, and, 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 and an individual having to lose their life as well. Um, condemnation, I believe, will be in... Well, I, I spoke about that in, in the interview just now. Um, I'm terribly sorry that people lost their lives exercising their fundamental rights and hope that justice will be done properly and swiftly. Um, and, and hope that that remains exceptional. Any loss of life is a, a loss of life too many. I mean, you want complete peace and stability, but exercise their rights freely and without interference. And, and I, I, I do indeed, I'm very sorry that people lost their lives, and I hope that there will be thorough investigations and that justice will be swift. Um, we've spoken with the Attorney General about the ongoing investigation and court cases for the deaths in 2020, and um, he's given us updates about that, and I've encouraged the, the Ministry of Justice and the Attorney General to make those updates public so that the public is assured that there is no impunity. A lot of similarities, just finally, between what's happening in the U.S. and almost what's, what's looking like happening in Ghana. Any thoughts on, on that briefly as well? You know, they're, they're both great democracies. And um, I think for both of us, it's a lesson that democratic institutions are precious and need protecting and um, can be undermined by criticism um, so that, you know, the, we must keep them accountable, um, but we mustn't throw stones that are not deserved. And um, so I have great respect for the democratic institutions of Ghana. Thank you.